Hey guys, I'm Corey. You may have heard my music right here on YouTube, but I wanted to share with you another of my creative outlets. Everybody likes to eat food, and I like to cook food. So now, every Tuesday night, I'm going to post a video of me cooking one of my favorite dishes, and you can follow along, and I'll teach you how to cook it too. This is what a kitchen looks like in Boston. I hope you have a bigger place to work. The first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees. You'll need a pot, a straining apparatus, a pan, and a larger baking pan. Ingredients are about a half a pound of tilapia, about three-fourths of a stick of butter, an onion, some fresh basil, two small to medium yellow potatoes, and one lemon. Then you'll need your pepper, your favorite seasoning salt, some table salt, and some sugar in a shaker. And don't forget your tasty beverage. But that's totally optional. All right, so first what we're gonna need to do is put some water on for boiling. All right. Set on my back burner there. Burner on nice and hot. When you boil water, if you're going to be boiling potatoes or pasta or anything like that, you're always going to want to salt the water. Use about two teaspoons up to a tablespoon of salt, depending on how much water in the pot. There we go. And that's salting the water. So that's going to start to boil. The next thing we need to do is we've got to get our parchment. And when we make cartaccio, we put it all into a bag so that it keeps the juices in. After we get the water boiling and the parchment cut, is I want to wash off our potatoes. This water is going to wash off my own. Make sure you take any stickers off. So now we're going to slice our potatoes. We want to slice them pretty thin so we can fit them in our fish bags nicely. All right. Then put the potatoes into the boiling water for about five to seven minutes. Turn on the heat under the pan to high. and slice up the onion. Also slice the lemon into four pieces and take out the seeds. Take a sugar shaker and give it a little sprinkle. And then we're gonna come and put them on the pan. Give this side a little sugar sprinkle. Just wanna get a little color on them. And flip these ones over. And they look like that. And move these ones to the side. After the lemons are done, add about a quarter stick of butter to the pan. And toss in the onion. Sugar. 
Seasoning salt. And again. So this is kind of how you want it to look when it's uh, when the onions are ready. Your potatoes are done parboiling. Is if your knife can easily sink into them, but it doesn't crush them. It just kind of easily slips in there. So then once your potatoes are done, we're going to take them over here and we're going to strain them. We'll just set them aside here. So I like to get my fish fresh every day, the day I'm going to make it. Uh, but if you get your fish the day before, then you can do a little smell check. And if it smells a little fishy, then just take some cold water and do a little rinse. And that'll get rid of the fishy, fishy smell. Season our fish on both sides. So I'm gonna take my sugar, just give it a light sprinkle. And take my pepper. my seasoning salt. Flip them. Do the same thing on the other side. So first put our fish down. And when we put the fish down, we want kind of if you can imagine the midpoint here. One way to find the midpoint is to fold it in half and, pull, and put a crease in it. But we want it a little bit in front of the midpoint so that when we fold it over and it has the stuff piled on top of it, it'll fold over evenly. So we put the fish in the center first. And then we want to layer some potatoes around it. onions. Then since potatoes won't be seasoned enough, we want to give them some seasoning as well. Just a light seasoning. So now I want to take our butter squares over here. Put them right on top. We want to take our lemon that we uh, seared on both sides and we're going to cut it in half. Put that right on top. And we're going to take some basil. And I like to use a lot of basil. I don't think you can ever use too much fresh herbs. So now we got everything our fish bag and we got to fold it. Now the way we're going to be folding it is like a pastry folds. So we're going to take that over, fold it right in half, and we're going to start on this side and we're going to keep folding it over onto itself a lot like you would fold the wings of a paper airplane. You want to make sure that each crease is nice and tight. You also want to make sure that each, each crease covers the last. It helps to make an airtight seal. So now for this last part, to make sure that your folding doesn't come undone, I like to use a toothpick. And if you've got a thick fold, you might have to poke a hole in it with something stronger than a toothpick first. So I use my, my meat thermometer, which usually gets the job done. 
Stick the toothpick in. Just keep it steady. Just keep it. Then build your second fish bag. Bake in the oven for about seven minutes. Then turn the pan around and bake for another five minutes. Don't forget to set the table. Ready to eat. Now, the thing you have to do when you're eating fish bags is you have to 